<laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Patrick. In our practice today, we're going to flow through some core activating movements. What I really want you to think about doing is understanding how your core integrates into each of the places that we explore in the practice. Um, as always, go at your own pace and remember that this is your journey. So while I am teaching you and giving you some techniques and things to focus on, you really want to tap into your own experience as much as possible. Let's begin in child's pose. So start with the hips sitting back, feel the shins heavy, feel the front hips spilling forward. Very normal for us as we begin this place of practice. See if you can lead with the chest out just a little bit. Find time to lengthen your lower back here. Find time for some softness because, again, this practice is going to be pretty steady moving. We'll do a lot of stuff to help you become aware of your core strength to enable you to use it even more. Go ahead and take two more breaths in your child's pulls, setting yourself up for the journey ahead. Take a moment to notice where you're beginning the process of the practice and then let it move from there. Go ahead and inhale forward onto hands and knees. And as you get here, circle the shoulders over the wrists a few times, letting that wake up. And again, maybe your hands feel a bit warm from maybe doing another practice or just in general, right? They feel easier today. so. See if you can maybe flip the fingers backwards, right? Explore some new space, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Then from here, bring your hands back to their traditional position. Now the hands are starting to feel really nice. And then go ahead and step back to your plank pose. So we're getting right into the mix. I said the practice is going to be about your core strength, and we're going to find it pretty straight away. See if you can squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, lift the lower belly, hold your space. Play the hands as actively as possible. Lift the heart out. And just get acclimated. Like all of a sudden you're in plank pose, all of a sudden your arms are working. All of a sudden you're like, oh, why? You know, it's okay to ask yourself those questions. Let this be an opportunity to find activation. Then go ahead and roll back into your downward facing dog. Lift the hips up a little bit higher, grip through the fingers, push the hips back in space. See if you can lift through the armpits, pull the tailbone towards the sky. Breathe here, slow and steady. Lengthen through the inner arms. Lift the hips up nice and high. And then go ahead and inhale, lift the right leg up. Roll forward to your plank pose. And then from here, bring your right knee over to your left wrist. Let it find a home. Lift right knee up towards the left tricep. Over to the right tricep. Down to the right wrist. Lift back up to the right tricep. Over to the left tricep down to the left wrist. Three-legged dog, the right leg lifts up and back, and set the right foot down next to the left. Inhale, lift the left leg up, and then roll forward to your three-legged plank pose, activating and engaging the core. Take the inhale here. On the exhale, the left knee comes across to the right tricep, finding a home, and then lower the left knee down to the right wrist. Oh, excuse me, we'll start at the right wrist. So. Working from here, we're going to reverse that course, starting at the right wrist, lifting up to the right tricep, over to the left tricep, down to the left wrist. Now up to the left tricep, over to the right tricep, down to the right wrist. Step back, three-legged dog, and then find your downward facing dog. We had a little bit of extra work that time. <laughs> Inhale, the right leg lifts. On the exhale, right knee over to find the left wrist. Really try and integrate your core here. Lift up to the left tricep, over to the right tricep, down to the right wrist, up to the right tricep, over to the left tricep, down to the left wrist. Step back to plank pose. Slow lower for five, four, three, two, one. Rise up and roll back into your downward facing dog. 
Inhale, the left leg lifts. On the exhale, left knee targets the right wrist. We're going to do it right this time. And then lift it up into the right tricep. Over to the left tricep. Down to the left wrist. Up to the left tricep. Over to the right tricep. Down to the right wrist. Step back to plank pose. Take the inhale here. On the exhale, slow lower towards chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Rise back up. Roll back into your downward facing dog. As you find your downward facing dog, push into the palms, lift heels, bend knees, step or float your feet in between your hands and come to a seat. So find a nice little spring that allows you to sit onto the floor. As you do that, roll down, let the feet land as if they were in bridge pose, lower or place your low back on the floor. Keep your shoulders lifted. I was going to say lower your low back onto the floor, but that's a terrible sentence. So find your space here. Feel this hollow body shape. C curve the spine so the chest is landing on top of the abs. And then float the feet off the ground. So right into your core strength. Hopefully you're really feeling the corset engage. You're feeling all this activation, all this integration. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, bring your right knee across towards your left shoulder, but try to not leave the midline. And then extend the right foot up. And then let the right foot move down to meet the left big toe. So we really want to move controlled here. Left knee up towards right shoulder. Try and keep the hips as square as possible. Left leg straightens, and then left leg slowly kicks down to meet right. Think about everything taking roughly a five count. So right knee into the chest, squeezing in towards the left shoulder. Right leg straightens up. Right foot lowers towards left. Left knee into right shoulder. Left leg straightens up. Left foot lowers down to meet right. Right knee to left shoulder. Right leg lifts up. Right foot lowers down to meet left. Left knee to right shoulder. Left leg lifts up. Left foot lowers down to meet right. Last full round, right knee to left shoulder. Right leg lifts up. Right foot lowers down to meet left. Keep fighting the good fight. Left knee to right shoulder. This is it. Stick with it. Left leg lifts up. Left foot lowers down to meet right. Rock and roll up and back a few times. Find your way to stand. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up. Open the front body. Stretch through the fingers. Lift up just a little bit more. Create your space. On the exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, step the left foot towards the back of the mat. Bend the left knee so you're in double bent leg lunge. And then from here, open your arms up like a cactus. Squeeze the elbows away from you. On the exhale, wrap the hands forward, straighten the arms so the palms touch, rounding the upper back. And then inhale, open into the cactus. Exhale, wrap. Hands come forward. Palms touch. Open your arms like a cactus, pushing the chest forward. So really exaggerate the movement through the chest here. Arms straighten. Palms touch. Find your stability and balance. Cactus, open the heart. Straighten the arms. Reach the hands forward. Palms touch. Cactus the arms. Open everything up. Straighten the arms. Palms reach. Hands touch. Cactus the arms. Open everything up. Fold, hands come to the floor. Push the palms down. Lift the right foot off the floor. Push the top of the right foot down. So the right foot lifted, then you flipped it. So the right knee's into the chest. Push through the hands, push through the right foot. See if you can lift the left foot off the ground for seven, six, five. Right knee into chest, four, three, two, one. Left toes land. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. On the exhale, bend the left knee, pull the right knee into the chest. Step the right foot up to the right thumb. Engage your core as much as possible. Step your left foot up to your left thumb. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach your hands up towards the sky, lifting the chest. Getting longer, getting taller. 
On your exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, open the heart. On the exhale, fingertips to the floor, step the right foot back long. Again, coming into the double bent leg lunge. Inhale, rise up, arms in the cactus position. Chest is open. On the exhale, straighten the arms, wrap around. Full shoulder protraction, full upper spinal flexion, palms touch. And then inhale, open, cactus arms. Exhale, straighten the arms, hands come to clap in front of you. Inhale, open, cactus arms. Exaggerate the movement so you almost lose your balance. You notice I'm doing it here, right? It's okay to feel unstable. That's part of engaging the core. If we're not working the instability, we're not really working the movement. Clap the hands together. Inhale, open, lift the chest, straighten the arms, clap the hands together. Inhale, open, cactus arms. Last one here, clap the hands together. Inhale, open, cactus the arms, hands to the floor. Push into the palm, straighten the right leg, lift the left foot off the ground, then untuck the toes, push the top of the left foot into the floor, lift the right leg up, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, flex the right toes, let them land where they started, lift the left leg up to the sky, on the exhale, step the left foot all the way up to the left thumb, rise onto the fingertips, let the right foot follow the left, sit the hips low this time, chair pose, reach your hands up to the sky, I'm sweating a lot here, I hope you're feeling some of this effort and energy, it's a lot on the core, Rise onto the tips of the toes, sit to the heels. Let knees come to triceps, triceps come to knees. Pull the chest forward, lift through the heart. Option for your crow pose here, knees, triceps, triceps, knees. Look forward, grip the fingers. See if you can squeeze the heels towards the butt. Apply energy into both hands equally, right? And if you want more of a challenge, feel as though you can bring both knees to the middle for five, four, three, two, on one. Let the feet land. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach the hands up above your head. Stretch through the fingers. Get long, get tall. On the exhale, fold all the way down as you find the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, elevate the chest. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to your plank pose. As you find the top of the push-up position, see if you can push into your right hand a lot here. And see if you can push into your left hand a lot here. Create more lift. Then bring, begin to tuck your chin towards your chest and then fill the space in between your shoulder blades just like we were doing in the double bent leg lunge. Feels as though the legs are strong but the hips are dropping and you're lifting through your upper shoulder blade, try and hold here, grip through the toes, grip through the fingers. Lift the lower belly in. Breathe in here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, roll back downward. Facing dog, beautiful work here. Again, gripping the fingers, feel strong and activated in every position that you're going into today. Inhale, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, right knee targets the left tricep, the left armpit. See if you can come into that space just a little bit more. Lift through the right knee, lift through the right knee, lift through the right knee, squeeze through the core. Don't just use your arms. And then lift the right leg up towards the sky. On the exhale here, bring the right knee into the right armpit, but don't let it touch. Just be as close as possible without touching. Feel the shoulder stacked on top of the wrist, creating that 90 degree angle. Lift, 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 lift. Hold for five, four, three, two. On one, set the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down. Open the right knee out to the side. Back stroke through the right arm. This should hopefully feel nice. Bend the left knee. Catch the outside of the left foot. And allow your body to move forward. Breathe easy in this space. Roll the right shoulder onto the back body. Allow your spine to get a little bit longer here.
exhale, release. Wide leg forward, fold, mosey all the way across. Let the toes point left. Allow yourself to drop to the middle. Feel the knees lifting up. Feel the core active and engaged. And then allow your front hip points to spill forward. Try and have a long spine here as much as possible. Be steady in your breath. Be connected to your human experience. Feel all your connection points with the floor as though you're plugging in and allowing that energy to radiate through your body. So as though you're pulling energy from the earth to help support you in this practice. Push the palms down flat. Find the hands underneath the shoulders. And then from here, push into your left hand a little bit more. Bring your left knee onto your left tricep. Reach your right hand towards the front of the mat if you can, and then rise onto your right big toe. Hold here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot returns to its starting position. Immediately replace the right hand down. Stretch the left hand towards the back of the mat. Right knee comes on to right tricep. Push into the left big toe. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Good. Holding here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot steps to the top of the mat. Walk your hands towards your front right foot, bending the knee. Lower your left knee down. Walk your hands out a little bit. Allow yourself to reconnect with your breath. Nothing we've done here today is easy, so give yourself the opportunity to say thank you to your body for allowing you to help build this strength, to build this coordination, for using its efforts. And again, that's part of the reason that's really nice to use your imagination to help feel as though even when you're in places of effort that you're using the body to pull energy from the earth into your physicality as opposed to just exerting energy out. Place the hands on the ground. Step back to your downward facing dog. As you get there, last full side here. So inhale, lift the left leg up. On the exhale, left knee comes all the way towards the right armpit. Don't let it touch the right tricep. You want to lift into the armpit as much as possible. Strong in the right leg. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Grip the fingers. Hold here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, the left leg lifts all the way up and back. Take the inhale here. This time, the left knee targets the left tricep, but don't touch left armpit. Get as close as possible without landing. Feel as though you're hovering away, strong in the back leg, strong in the arm, strong in the core. Feel as though you can pull the belly button to the spine more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, land the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Let the right knee drop. Let the left knee splay open a bit. Breathe into some bigger space. Bend the right knee. Reach back for the right foot. Allow yourself to kick open here. Find your ability to open through the chest, through the shoulder. Two more breaths here. As you release, walk all hands to the right to find wide leg forward fold. I'll just adjust so that my back and butt are not to you. Set yourself up in your wide leg forward fold position. 
And then give yourself again the chance to recover here, right? The chance to plug in, to recharge, to be active in the feet. Coordinated effort to lift the inner arches. Coordinated effort to get long through the inner line of the legs. I know in my own practice recently, I've been focusing a lot on the arches. Focusing a lot on the big toe mounds. I find that if I plug my energy in there, it also makes breathing into the lungs a bit more deeper and a bit more available. It's a level of focus, a level of nuance that's added to the practice that gives you a lot of benefit. All right, from here, let's plant that right hand down into the floor underneath the shoulder. Reach your left hand towards the top of the mat. Bring your right knee onto your right tricep and rise onto your left big toe if you can. Be there for seven, six, squeeze in five, four, three, two. On one step, the right foot to the back of the mat. Place your left hand down immediately. Reach your right hand towards the back of the mat. Left knee onto left tricep. Rise onto right big toe. Holding here. Seven, six. Use your core. Five, four, three, two. On one step, the left foot back to the top of the mat. And then mosey your hands towards the left foot. Finding your low lunge position. Again, you can drop the right knee down, walk the hands forward. And when we're using the core a lot, it can be easy to close off space. It's part of the reason we move through the chest a lot in our upright lunge positions. So see if you can feel just a little bit more of a lift here. Place your hands down on the floor. Step back to plank pose. Last challenge of the practice today. Five slow motion push-ups, so lowering at a count of seven and then rising up with a bit of energy and enthusiasm. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Rise. Lower down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, rise, lower seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise, lower seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise, lower seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise, lower seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, rise. Last one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise. Nice work. Lower your knees to the floor. Sit back towards child's pose. Stretch through the arms. Stretch through the back body. You can evil, even wiggle the hands slightly forward, sit out of the pose, and then sit back into it. You'll find a nice tractioning through the triceps, through the side body. And then inhale forward onto your belly. Straighten your left arm directly out to the side and then roll onto your left shoulder, stepping the right foot over and behind the left leg. You can spin your hips up towards the sky here. Allow yourself the chance to relax a bit. I feel when we do a lot of these more intense practices, for one, it's easy to lose your breath. For two, it's easy to lose your attention to detail and kind of go into more of a workout mode, 
right? And we're definitely working out our physical body, but we're also trying to tap into those little details, those little nuances, those little techniques that make the movement mindful, that make the movement conscious, that make the movement powerful to us in learning about ourselves, all right? Because if you just come to this work and you don't focus on any of the details, any of the nuance, any of the breathing, it just kind of loses its luster a little bit. It loses its value. And we really want to bring as much value into the practice as possible. And we're doing so through our physical effort and also being mindful of how we're placing and playing our effort. So it's more than just bringing the knee to the tricep. It's actually how are you accomplishing that mission. Go ahead and roll back to center and just switch your side. So extend the right arm open, roll on to the right hip. Step the left foot over and behind the right leg. So you want to tap into your how, you want to tap into your why, you want to tap into the various elements of yourself that show up when things get challenging. Because persevering is important, but what's also important is your ability to understand you know, the why behind your perseverance or maybe how you lean onto your, your ability to persevere all the time, right? Again, it's, it's just as important to make it through some of the challenging movements as it is to say, not today. You know, as it is to say, that's not working for me today. Or it's to say, I just don't feel at my best today, but I'm still here, I'm still showing up, I'm still part of the practice. Give yourself grace in the process. Allow yourself to rebound with your breathing. Allow yourself to recharge in the spaces that feel most available to you. Slowly come back to center. When you get there, cross the forearms in front of you, stack one on top of the other, and then drop your forehead onto your forearms. And allow yourself to close your practice there. Take a few big, deep belly breaths to lift the chest. And every exhale, allow yourself to sink more into the floor. Find that melting action and sensation. And the heavier you get in the hips here, the more you'll just begin to gently open the front body, helping you move through the rest of your day with good posture, with good connection, with good grounding. As always, thank you all so much for joining me for these practices. I look forward to sharing space with you again soon. Have an amazing day. Peace.